he was a he was a good family man. He was the uh, one that always tried to get me out of trouble with mom. He was a uh, he was big into veterans issues from serving in Vietnam and being in the military. He was big on being POWs and MIAs and he was uh, on like a lot of appointment boards for the federal government for the military academies. Um, he was my soccer coach. He uh, taught me a lot with that. Even though he started off new at it too when I signed up. <laughs> but uh, he, he was a great man. He taught me to be the father who I am today to my son, you know, and I'm going to go to a step beyond that and be better than he was, and I know that's what he'll want me to be. So, but he's, a, he's a loving husband to my mom, and I know she misses him dearly. Uh, my sister, my niece, he didn't, didn't get a chance to meet my son, but I know he's showing me what to do. He was, a uh, he was the always, when a new guy came in the door, he was always willing to show that, lend that hand and show him how to do it right. Even though he wasn't a line officer, you know, he was right there showing him what to do right and how to do it. Um, even in the community, even as a soccer coach, he took the time out. He didn't put that kid right there in front of everybody. He took him aside and showed him or told him what they're doing wrong. Um, this is my first weekend back since my dad was honored. Um, but so far, it's been. To me, it's been somewhat overwhelming. You know, you don't realize there's that whole big family of other survivors. Just as this morning, I met a, a lady from New Jersey at our hotel. She lost her husband in 95. And I knew exactly where she lived, and she gave me her address, and I'll go up and visit her. But you don't realize how many people are out there and similar stories. You know, we met people last night that one lost their, their dad in a traffic accident. Um, another one lost her daughter. Yeah, you know, it's welcoming into our family now, you know, and it's just going to get bigger. And it's like an overwhelming experience so far. You know, it's something I could take back and share with friends and family back in Jersey. But he, he was a real loving guy. You know, he's always willing to lend a hand to you, willing to teach you new things, show you things in life. Um, all around him, just a great guy. You know, and to me, having got one one damn good firefighter. You know, I know he's up there causing havoc.